Here he is. All right. Ted Chubby. We have, in Halton, in the riding of Halton, we have 70,000 doors. And I vowed, I was going to vow to get to every one of them, but I realized that would be a liberal promise because it wouldn't be fulfilled. <laughs> But I think we did knock on seven to 10,000 doors because of the number of volunteers that we had helping us. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's a little bittersweet tonight in that we're not forming a government, but the sweetness of this victory will live in my heart forever. And I thank you all for such a tremendous effort and for believing in me and Sandy for our future in Halton. Thank you very much. And your question was, uh, what am I gonna do now? What's the best part of today? What's was the best part of today? That it's over or what? I don't know, I feel like I'm in limbo today. Um, the best part of today is seeing my girlfriend, I guess, because she lives in Kingston and we have a long distance relationship and we hadn't seen each other for two and a half weeks. That's the best part of, of today, actually. <laughs> Can the NDP win the Halton seat, uh, whether it's provincially or federally? Can it happen? Yes, it can happen. It's our total assets as a party were $1,000 before this campaign started. Uh, we raised $12,000 in a month. There's a lot of possibility here, in, in, in Milton especially, and I think we're going to get a redistributed seat on Milton itself. Are you going to run for public office in the future? Oh, yes. yes, if every opportunity I'll get, for sure. Frankly, the, one of the main things I was watching was to see how the party was doing in general and how the Premier was doing, so I was watching those numbers and I slowly watched them climb and was thrilled to see that the Liberal Party was doing well in the province and that the Premier uh, was doing well too. So that was one of the first things I was watching. Encouraged in the beginning and, and feeling really good and then after a while it became clear that it wasn't going to be strong enough. And uh, hey, it's about having people speak, you know, and the voters here in Halton spoke their mind. Are you going to do this again? <laughs> I, ha I haven't even thought about that at this point. All I'm thinking about is trying to get a little more sleep and a little more rest and spending some time with my family. I have absolutely not had enough time with my family in the last few months, so I just need to unwind a little bit and find a little bit of time for me, and then you can ask me that question, okay? <laughs> I understand that you went to uh, the Ted Chudley camp uh, briefly. We didn't get a chance to get you on camera, but um, uh, what did you say to, to Ted when you were there? Hey, I shook his hand, I wished him uh, good luck, and I said uh, thank you for, you know, I thought he fought a good fight. I think the people of Halton spoke, and uh, they want Mr. Chudley as their MPP here. For those of you that may not know who this loudmouth guy out here is, it's it's Gord Prince near the town of Milton. But along with me is uh, Lisa Reid, our MP for Milton. And Lisa. as well I can share with you not only in Melton but in the writings that I just alluded to if it wasn't for that partnership and I talk about the partnership locally provincially and federally so I look forward to working with uh, Ted for I don't know whether it's going to be two years or four years I really don't know but Ted I can assure you that I look forward to working with you once again this you and I have worked so well in the past again with uh, your and my friend Lisa so ladies and gentlemen it did have to be said it is a partnership with uh, municipalities so Ted congratulations Bye.